What is up everybody? A new trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine came out this morning. I woke up to it. Oh my god. It looks amazing. I've only watched it a brief t one time. So this is going to be my second in like raw reactions. But I think this movie is going to be incredible. And you know, I thought it was going to be one thing. And now I'm like, ooh, this is going to be even deeper and juicier than I thought. I thought they were just going to be having fun. I thought it was going to be akin to maybe like a Thor Love and Thunder. Where you just get two great actors together and a director. And it, they just have way too much fun. And that translates in a fun sense. You know, the movie's fun. But it's not always good, right? Like a lot of people didn't think Thor Love and Thunder was all that great. But this is going to be different, man. Ryan Reynolds knows this character. Hugh Jackman knows this character. And they know them so well that they're going to give us something that we're not expecting, but also give us everything we want. You know what I mean? Give us all that juicy, that juicy goodness. That little, oh, I can't wait. You know what I mean? That little, that eat that little finger licking good barbecue chicken that that's what we get from this trailer right here but let's not waste any more time shall we let's get right into the action right now I told you you're not welcome here no TJ Miller he's drunk at a bar hi peanut he thinks he's a girl. Sort of on the tick tick, so Oh. Oh. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. Oh, pulls out the gun. Oh, how he just how he smiles and like he leans into it, right? Like this this Wolverine feels looks and feels very depressed right he's sitting at the bar he's drinking he's at sister mary's from the other deadpool movies but the bartender is not tj miller so it looks like he's not coming back this movie which he had his own uh allegations and shit going on so n no wonder why there but i love just like oh whiskey dick of the claws that happens in deadpool in wolverines over 40 uh quite common in wolverines over 40 and then he's like listen you don't want this and he pulls out a gun and it says smile wait for the flash and he puts it right to and he, right to his face and he's like listen unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead i suggest you reconsider and he just smiles and leans into the fucking gun I'm like, oh, this Wolverine is going to be so dark and so depressed, and he's going to have to have Deadpool of all people bring him back. But let's continue on. Marvel Studios, 20th Century Fox logo, Wolverine in the Sun. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Ooh. Not my fucking problem. Ooh. What do you say when your world went to shit? Ooh. Come again? Yeah, come again for Big Fudge? What? You, is that what you said when your world went to shit and we see this shot of him in this grassy plain with just a bunch of, like, stone pillars just in, in a line? So, like, is he the... Right, because he's got the healing factor. Is his entire world of X-Men wiped out, right? Like, is X-Men 97 going to end in a just extinction, right? Tolerance is extinction, just wiping out the X-Men and that's going to lead this Wolverine into Deadpool and Wolverine. I don't think they'll be that closely tied, but I mean, it's just a weird coincidence that it looks like his entire race is extinct except for him in the last three episodes of this uh, X-Men 97 series is going to be called Tolerance's Extinction. Uh, uh, did I just accidentally stumble across something? Maybe. Uh, but let's continue on because... We're going to find out a little bit more of what he meant by this Deadpool and uh, come again for, is that what you meant by me not saving the rest of my people? Not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? Ooh. I love the banter already between the two and they seem to be in like the void, but how did they get there? All these things are very interesting, but we're going to hear Paradox, Mr. Tom Wamscans from Succession. He let down his entire world. Oh, stabbed Deadpool in the nuts, shots in the ribs. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. Oh, okay. This July, 
<laughs> yeah, I love you. He's like, should we uh, wait for a third act flat, a third act flashback to know what's going on with you, or uh, are you just gonna sit there and sulk? And he's like, go fuck yourself. At that point, he's still wearing sleeves, so at one point he's gonna get real angry and rip off those goddamn sleeves. I'm telling you, and it's just gonna make me feel so good. Uh, but he also looks like he's knocked out here on the ground of the TVA. So Deadpool's talking to Paradox with Wolverine in the TVA. Then we get that shot of him stabbing him in the nuts. Oof. Ugh. Ouch. Ouchie. 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 But I don't know. What happened to this poor Wolverine? And, and why is he so sad? But we're going to get to see the boys tandem walking together, teaming up. So let's see it. Of course you don't. Oh, he's holding up a picture of the X-Men, I think, there. Right, he was the X-Men. Yeah, I am. He goes, I am soaking wet right now. I feel you, Deadpool. I am bursting with... I have chills, I have so much emotions ready to pour out of my body for this movie. I'm so excited for July. This summer should be awesome because of this movie, mostly because of this movie. And this is only like the first real trailer. Like, we're still gonna get way more. And I love that it's set to like, what is that? So honey, call my name. Take me to yourself. Make me take you there. Right? Like, I don't know who that is, but I definitely know the song. I probably just butchered the words, but hey, I was on key. That's all that matters. Uh, <laughs> but he's like, I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you were an X-Men. It looks like, ooh, but you do. And it looks like you Keo. It actually looks like a picture of the de from like Deadpool 2. But he was saying to Wolverine that you know how to save worlds. So I don't know, maybe Wolverine's in this picture instead of Deadpool? I'm not sure. But they're both in a car together, so that looks like they're going to be going on like a road trip together. They walk in front of a store called Liefeld's. That's obviously for creator Rob Liefeld that created Deadpool. <laughs> he's like, trust me, kid, I'm no hero. I got big jacked arms. And he's like, what do you mean you're no hero? You were an X-Men. You were the X-Men, right? Which is definitely a nod towards the first three X-Men movies where... Wolverine was the star of the show, which I re why I really love X-Men 97 so much is that Wolverine hasn't really, he's been there, but he hasn't been front and center, here's the guy that's leading the series, right? They've been letting other characters have the shine, and I kind of really love that, because we've gotten three movies with him, so we don't need more Wolverine starring of the show, but here he's going to be star of the show, but he's going to be with Deadpool, so it's going to be them together being the star of the show, which... It's going to be awesome, and I really can't wait. And he just goes, I'm soaking wet right now. And then we're going to get a big, great action montage with maybe some music in the background, so I might have to cut that out. But here we go. Ooh, those claws look good. Bam! Ooh, Emma Corrin? Ooh, there's nothing like... Oh, throws him out the sunroof. Boys are silly. Coming together! Woo! Goliath? Giant head? What? What? Dog pool? Emma Corrin? Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Woo! And they're jumping through a portal. Like, where are they going? Deadpool and Wolverine, baby! Woo! Right, so that's like the trailer. Then at the end, there's just a brief, more like funny part with uh, Blind Al and Deadpool that we'll talk about in a second. But that whole clip is nutty, man. Right, them fighting and then them fighting other people. He's wiping out TVA agents. He's, you know, he goes, <laughs> right, like there's nothing like. It Wolver looks like Wolverine's throwing him out of the sunroof of a minivan. Uh, Emma Corrin going, boys are silly. She's playing Cassandra Nova, so we're getting to see an actual, the actual first looks at the main villain. And they come together. Looks like an Eliath blocking out the sun, so they're in the void. Ant Man's giant head. This shot here is nuts. We see Lady Deathstrike, which is like the the. Wolverine from X2, the lady that had nail claws coming out of the five fingers, she's on the left of that entrance. Also, 
the Red, Nightcrawler, and Zazel from fucking, I believe, uh, X-Men First Class, maybe also Apocalypse. I don't remember quite too well, but he's definitely in First Class. And he's, you know, Nightcrawler is one of my favorites. So he's like, you know, the red, dark, dark side Nightcrawler. So like, you know, same type of powers. They, you know, and they teleport, which is awesome. One of my favorite powers. But they're in a giant man head, which is like a stolen idea because I saw MT was the first person I saw do this. So shout out MT, fellow Boston man. He said that this, this, giant Ant-Man head might be like Charles Xavier Cerebro because if you don't know Cassandra Nova is Charles's sister that you know was in the womb and they had like a telepathy battle as twins like in the womb like and Charles killed her but she really looks like she survived here so she's gonna be played by Emma Corrin but if from the inside shots of this it looks like she has created a Cerebro in the void out of giant man's skull pretty cool pretty dark uh but that is you know i don't know if that's true but that is definitely what it seems like is going on here and i cannot take credit for that that is entirely mt's idea so shout out mt you're a legend oh but uh, like so much so much good shit in this like the the car is from uh red skull in the uh. first captain america right so there's little easter eggs that are good he's wolverine's gargling spitting dog pool uh, they're in a, <laughs> who knows if you'll live or die, and he's in a minivan driving, and Deadpool's hanging out the passenger window, and then they cut right after that, he goes, who knows if you'll live or die, and they cut to a shot of Wolverine fighting Emma Corrin, and she seems to be using telepathy to move him and, and make his claws not go into her, and she forces him to go into the ground, which is just awesome. Uh, but then, you know, it cuts to even more action. They just fighting, kicking ass together. And then he goes, let's fucking go, Deadpool says. And then they cut to a shot of Wolverine saying, let's fucking go. Oh, God, I'm so excited for this. And then we cut to a shot of them looking like they're running out of maybe the eye socket or even like the mouth hole or whatever hole of, of Giant Man. And they're running and jumping into a portal that is not a TVA portal. It is more of a magical portal akin to what we've seen Doctor Strange open. But who opened this portal? Wong? Doctor Strange? Confirmed? Ned? We saw Ned open portals in, in Spider-Man No Way Home. Now that's probably my least likely to show up. But still, who's opening this portal? Because it's not a TVA door. And, and Deadpool and Wolverine don't have magic as far as we know. Neither does Emma Corrin. Or she wouldn't be stuck in the void. So who is opening this this? magical portal for them but we see them running and jumping into it it looks like they're jumping into it because of the Eliath cloud in the background coming at them so maybe they're escaping the portal that they're jumping into does look like a white bright sky so maybe they're jumping into a portal going into the sky from the back of this portal it looks dark but from the front of the portal it looks light so what's going on there i have no idea where they're heading but that just looks like it's going to be so much fun. But let's finish off with the final clip of Deadpool and Blind Al talking about Kevin Feige. Want to do some cocaine? Want to do some coke? <laughs> Bolivian marching band. They have a list. White girl interrupted. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes. Yes. <laughs> She goes, do you want to build a snowman? Talking about the cocaine, which I think was in Deadpool 2. He goes, do you want to build a snowman? Papa, can you hear me? Doesn't that sound like Yentl? You know, like how they how Frozen stole the theme song from Yentl and made it into, do you want to build a snowman? Mad annoying. But <laughs> that is now used as a cocaine term which Disney also owns this, right? So it's just meta in that sense as well. But he's like, even Forrest Bump. And she's like, white girl <laughs> invasion? Or uh, snowboarding? And he's like, yes, we can't do any of those. Hey, do you want to build a snowman? He goes, yes, but I can't. And then it cuts to let's fucking go in theaters July 26. It doesn't even cut to the title at the end. It just cuts to let's fucking go July 26. I am so excited. Comment below how excited are you 
for this movie. July is going to be epic. I can't wait to see more trailers from this. But honestly, I don't even think I need to see more trailers from this. I am beyond excited. I have all the information I need. Uh, Emma Corrin. There's going to be Pyro, uh, the Lady Deathstrike. We already know from spoilers a little bit from behind the scenes set photos that a Sabretooth might be in there. Wh which Sabretooth? We don't know that. Uh, but, you know, it... it it's going to be nuts. It's going to be fucking insane. But mainly, it's going to be our boys, Deadpool and Wolverine, together kicking major ass. Like, and we know this. We know they're going to be kicking ass. Uh, but we see, you know, shots of him getting shot in the ribs. We see uh, shots of them walking out together in front of the Liefeld store. That's just awesome. You know, slow motion shot, but they're, like, walking out. I love the shot here because Deadpool's got gold Desert Eagles. Like, uh, that's just a nice touch. You know, golden guns. Just looks badass. Dogpool's gonna be in there licking the hell out of out of Deadpool's face. Wolverine's looking at him like, ugh, nasty. Um, but the two of them teaming up, coming out of this minivan. The minivan's on fire, so it's gonna be a road trip into the void to kill Emma Corrin, and these two are gonna be coming at it. Wolverine's got his sleeves ripped off. He looks jacked. We love to see that. Oh, God. It's a shame that we don't get to see Ryan Reynolds' face, but we really don't need to, because we like Deadpool with the mask on. Um, you know, because when he's got his mask off, he's ugly, and it's gross. <laughs> But I love, like, Wolverine, let's fucking go, buying into this Deadpool team up a little bit. Oof. Oof. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But, man, oh, man. Oh, this shot of Ant-Man's head, right? You can see Lady Deathstrike there with the claws on the left side. You can see Azazel on the right side. I don't know who's to the left and right of them. But you can also see that uh, Red Skull's car over there. But this is giant man's head, maybe even body. It looks like maybe his shoulders and arms are there too. So poor Scott Lang died as giant man. Oof. Yikes. But Emma Corrin is going to be Cassandra Nova, bald head, uh, Charles Xavier's sister. So will Patrick Stewart show up in this? I don't know. But as far as some of the cameos that we have heard, none of those, none of those cameos have been in any of the trailers. Right? So... It, they're maybe saving all of those, but even if those were just rumors and they're not true, this movie still looks insane for what they've showed us so far. And I think it's just going to be out of this world insanity. But once again, that portal shot at the end, where are they going? Deadpool's, yeah! And they're like jumping together. Deadpool's got like cross legs, arms back. Wolverine's kind of got this like jumping claw pose that Wolverine always ha kind of has. His feet kind of tucked underneath him and he's ah, jumping full chest and claws out. You know, so I have no idea where they're jumping to, but I am so curious to find out. So comment below your thoughts on this. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let's talk more Deadpool and Wolverine. You can hit my links from my other social medias in the description below. And I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Peace.